Anna, what's wrong? Uh, I have so much work to do. I like, do you see how much this is? I'm so overwhelmed. Like, I just, I feel like I should give up or something. Okay, okay, so here's what you should do. You should leave right now. Leave right now. Go home, go do all of your work. Come back tomorrow, it'll all be better. I mean, I guess if that's the only thing. Yeah, it's the only thing I can think of. Bye bye. Oh, okay. What did the friend do wrong? Well, first, the friend assumed that just doing the work would solve the problem rather than considering that there could be deeper roots to the issue. Also, due to the friend's lack of knowledge of the resources available, they were not able to correctly point the struggling student in the right direction. Mental health is the center of all health. If a person is in a time of poor mental health, it will have a domino effect on every other aspect of their lives, especially for high school students due to it being such a developmental time in our lives. In a 2021 survey, 32% of the surveyed North Andover students reported having mild to severe anxiety. During such a developmental time in our lives, it is important and necessary to make sure that students' mental health is taken care of. A solid support system of friends, teachers, and other staff can go a long way for students. So, what does North Andover High School offer to students for mental health resources? Well, there are many. First, we have the guidance department the most known resource for most students. If a student is struggling with an immediate problem, then going straight to guidance will always be a solid option. They will offer students a person to talk to and could give resources to help that student out. Second, there are the school nurses. They are always in their office, and if a student needs a break, they can always just go in. The nurses can also offer resources and refer students for continued problems. Students can also go to the focus classroom, where they can either show up or come to a scheduled class to get therapeutic support. Finally, there is the Therapeutic Education Center. These counselors and teachers offer clinical support, counseling, and crisis interventions. They also offer academic support. With all these resources available, the real question is, do students know about these options? I would talk to my friends or family. Uh, to be honest, I'd talk to the boys. I'd uh, figure out what's going on, uh, I'd fix it. I'll probably talk to my friends about it. I don't know. Easier classes. Uh, I don't know. Like, uh, nice teachers. Maybe the focus club. Guidance counselors. The guidance counselors? I haven't talked to them though. The guidance counselor, I think. Guidance, focus. Did you know about the social emotional learning department on the second floor or the focus classrooms or the mental health resources offered by the nurses? No, I only knew about focus. I about like one of those. I've been told about them, I've been informed. No, I did not know about that. Thank you so much for telling me. I knew about the focus, but not the others. Now that we've learned more about mental health at the school, let's see the beginning situation and what the friend could have done better. Anna, what's wrong? I just, I have so much homework and it's so overwhelming and it's stressful and I just, I feel like I should give up, you know? It can get really stressful sometimes. Uh, maybe you should go down to guidance, uh, find someone to talk with. I can walk you down if you'd like. Oh, okay. Well, that sounds good, actually. Yeah, no problem. Would you like to go on a walk later? I heard it's really good for relaxation. That sounds good, actually. Thank you. By telling his friend to go to guidance, his friend can receive at the very least someone to talk to, and possibly the ability to take further steps to resolve the issue. The Mental Health Awareness Club was founded to create a student group focused purely on the awareness and support of mental health throughout the school community. The group is made up of dedicated students that have worked hard constantly to make sure that mental health is advocated for and cared about. You may have seen the students wearing all green or wearing and handing out green ribbons. In two weeks, on May 24th, the Mental Health Awareness Club will be putting on a mental health fair, where organizations and people in the school will be presenting booths on mental health and mental health awareness. This will be a great opportunity to learn more about mental health and how to advocate for it. Please join the Mental Health Awareness Club after school on Tuesdays at room 3050 if you would like to help us continue to advocate for mental health.